I'm sorry, what? Oh my god. Okay, welcome back to Riven. Um, yeah, that was stupid. I would never have found that. There's two paths here behind the doors that are closed when you open the doors. You have to close the door behind you before you find anything. So I didn't, I didn't find out how to shut off that fan yet, but I'm pretty sure the way to that is somewhere around here. Because now I can go along this path and find this locked door. God, that was so dumb. I knew I was missing something stupid. What is... Ah, here we go. That shuts off the power. Okay. Yeah, I was looking at a, a very... Uh, what's the word for, like, not... A not particularly wordy guide, and it was like... Go into the double doors and close them behind you. And I'm like, why would that be a thing? And then it turns out there's two paths right here. And one of them leads to the dome. Okay. Where do you... There's a thing on the wall there. God. Me and my not closing doors behind me. Right? See, I told you I was going to be on some kind of uh, path forward. I'm going to make progress. That's that pipe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those pipes on the big dome are connected to these little domes. So the switch to open this dome must be somewhere else. But now that I've... Well, actually, let's... Nope, don't open the door. Keep it closed. There was something else at the end of this path... Oh, hey, look at this. Oh, really? There's a whole bridge across, and I can't, because the... Did I leave that up? No. No, okay, you activate this bridge somewhere else. Wait. There's the lever. Okay. I was... About to be annoyed with myself for something I didn't do. I can totally jump this gap. It's like three feet. Game logic. Puzzle game's got a puzzle. You know what? That button there brings up an elevator that bridges that gap. Okay. Well, I have opened up an entire new world of possibilities, ironically, by closing a door. So, first things first. Let's go into Gen's lab through the vent that I was talking about closing, or opening, shutting off the fan and everything. All right, and let's open this. No, let's... Okay, I guess it automatically closes behind you, but it's unlocked now, so I can... I can come and go from this room as I please. I don't have to keep the power shut off. And actually, I should probably go turn it back on, because I think it's, uh, there's something in here that I have to do. Wait, can I pull it the other way? Oh, okay. I don't know if that actually affects anything else, but I can get back in here now. I think maybe some lights came on. I don't remember. And now we can look at all this neat stuff that Gen was looking at. He's looking at wood, probably trying to figure out why it's not making good pages. Got some cutting and writing utensils and stuff to make books. Yeah, that's a press probably for binding covers and stuff together. Got a little anvil or stamp or something. Just all kinds of writing stuff, because Gen is a writer, and he's trying to write his way out of his imprisonment on this dying island. Yeah, that's the frog trap. 
Lots of specimens. He's probably using their fluids to try and make ink, I would guess. Or maybe he's just studying them. And what's in here? Various eggs. Probably bird eggs from the size of them. Here's my radius beacon. And that's it. Okay. What's this? I see buttons. Oh. Is this literally just a teapot? Why does it look so over-engineered? Maybe it's not a teapot. It's doing something. Some kind of liquid. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's a small version of the, like, water displacer field things. Maybe that's what that is. I wouldn't be surprised if Gan invented those using his vastly superior intellect to the islanders that he probably believes he has. Aha! Number one. But it's not connected to anything that makes a sound, so... Last week, while monitoring the situation of the villagers from the scope in my survey room, that's the survey room I need to find, I observed one of the natives swim out to a small object that appeared to be floating, but anchored near the entrance to the bay. I ordered the subject, I ordered the object removed from the water for inspection. Several days later, however, I was surprised to see another one floating there. The missing object had apparently and quite mysteriously been replaced with a new one overnight. I've long been aware of this the existence of similar artifacts on the villagers' island, but have paid them little notice until now. Tomorrow I shall send surveyors to catalog the others. So he's, uh... So even Gen doesn't know what these are all for. But I'm pretty sure because it's in the water and you find the fish near the village, I think number one in the sequence is the fish even though you can't uh, get a sound for it. I think that's what you're supposed to, like, understand from that. So let's take a look at... Oh, it's a blank book. Oh, no, it's not. The latest ink formulation has proven a failure. Even when writing in my most promising books, I obtain only the barest glimmer of a connection. It is frustrating to expend so much effort creating a blank book only to end up destroying it when it doesn't work. There are days when the lab is com uncomfortably warm from the flames of these failed attempts. The further I refine each element, the formulations of the inks and papers, the physical dimensions of the books, the more I realize that the list of potential combinations is nearly infinite. It is during moments like these that I despair. Without access to Dunny, my long-term goals may never be accomplished. Nevertheless, there are avenues of research which remain to be explored. Uh, how many pages do we have? Oh my god, there's so many. I'm not going to read every... Oh, wait a minute. That looks like a code of some kind. All right, I might have to actually read all this. Uh, I am discontinuing regular observation of the stars beneath the fissure. Although I've been able to track the dark cloud-like formations that migrate through the star field and have proven that their paths are cyclical, without proper instrumentation it is pointless to continue. My general theory concerning the nature of the fissure has remained unaltered since it first appeared. It seems that the fabric of this age has been breached in a way that permits matter to be hospitably exchanged between two discrete but overlapping spaces, much like a link, but the apparent physical contradictions Surrounding this juncture defy logical reason. The great column of wind that was formed when the fissure first appeared suggests a vacuum as one might expect in space. Yet my early experimentations revealed the presence of a breathable atmosphere. That Atris and Catherine threw themselves into the void is further evidence that it might be safe to travel, but without knowing its true nature I cannot take the risk myself. Yeah, so that's, uh, he's talking about when Atris, uh, stranded him here by jumping into the starfisher and linking to mist 
on the way down. I don't think he knows that they did that. I don't think Gen knows that they did that. So Gen is like, well, they must have. They wouldn't have jumped in if they didn't think it was safe. But without knowing for sure, I'm not gonna try it. Uh, let's see. Uh, be the biosphere without knowing, not taking the risk. Uh, it is also difficult to say what would happen if I were to reopen it after so long. But it is unlikely that the results would be. It is likely the results would be catastrophic given the changes that have occurred in the age since that time. Maintenance on the steam vent cape? Caps? Oh, maintenance on the steam vent caps completed. I am extremely pleased with the continued success of this system. I believe the construction to have been true to the Dunny designs of my memory, another example of the superiority of the Dunny technology. It's Ironic that Atrus and Catherine unwittingly provided me with such a convenient source of power. Yeah, so he's just saying, like, yeah, my people knew what they were doing when it came to technology. We got steam power and all these generators and such, and I'm not sure what he... I think he's just saying that it's funny that Atrus and Catherine trapped him here where he has such a... Well, such a convenient source of power, like he says. Okay. As with many of my views over the years, my thoughts regarding the origin of the fissure have changed. I have recently begun to wonder whether it was actually an unexpected byproduct of the changes Catherine and Atris wrote into this age during their escape. Certainly, by casting their linking book into the void, they trapped me here quite effectively, but I do not believe that Atris intended the book to be lost in this manner. Much better to destroy it than to risk the possibility of it falling into unknown hands. Also, they had foreseen the creation of the fissure. Had they foreseen the creation of the fissure, they would surely have thought that the vacuum it created would eventually consume the atmosphere of this planet, a fate which Catherine undoubtedly would have deemed unacceptable for her home world. Also, oh, Catherine is from Riven. Huh. I thought they were all from from Dunny, Atrus' whole family and all that. Huh, I forgot about that. If I had not been there to supervise the construction of the seal, this is most certainly what would have happened, for the villagers were far too frightened to even approach the vortex without my urging. I hold on to the belief that it was an unintended consequence of their writing for another reason as well. I prefer to think that my son meant for this age to merely be a prison for me, rather than a death sentence. So the the star fissure appeared, and Gen thinks it was because of all the changes that Atris was making, trying to, you know, keep this unstable age together, and it's it caused some other problems. And Gen is like, Atris didn't want to kill me, he just wanted to trap me, so Yeah, that's the the fact that this black hole basically appeared in the middle of an island is uh seems like an accident to him at least. The construction of the imager, imagers has proceeded without fault. It is interesting to see how easily I've been able to adapt the Dunny technology to mimic that of the Ahmad. In some ways, the similarities between the two cultures were striking. I wonder if perhaps there had been communication or commerce between the two cultures in earlier times. Maybe Kida's people were even desperate, or descent, were even descendants of the Dunny. It pleases me to think so. Note, it's possible that if I were somehow able to supply the books with a power source of sufficient magnitude, I could suppress the variance long enough to facilitate a solid link. It is doubtful that the geothermal cap generators could provide such an enormous surge. Perhaps I could adapt the fire marbles. I've been cataloging the natural elements of this age for nearly 30 years now, yet I still continue to find evidence of the Dunny's preoccupation with five. As a boy, it was <clears throat> it was very clear to me that the number had special significance to the Dunny society. From the ancient heraldic emblems of the ruling elite to the humble homes of the commoners, it was ubiquitous. Its presence here is obviously a direct reflection of the minds that designed the texts that I used to compose this age, further proof that through their art the Dunny Masters were indeed creating the marvelous worlds they wrote, and not, as many have mistakenly thought, merely building links to pre-existing worlds. 
So yeah, that's something that I mentioned before. They don't. There's there was debate over whether or not people were creating worlds or linking to ones that already existed. So Gen honestly believes that he's creating the worlds that he's writing, and I think Atris was of the belief that there were thousands, thousands, an infinite number of worlds, basically in a big multiverse. And when you write a book describing a world, it links to that particular world that already existed. So you're not creating stuff out of thin air like a god, like Gen believes he is. Uh, while most of my constructions have been based on Dunny designs, I now I see now that the ones that I have imbued with the powers of five are clearly the most beautiful, the most perfect, and I believe the most structurally sound. I'm still attempting to determine how the Dunny color symbology reflects this superior design principle. Although I superficially, although superficially it is based on a six color system, I'm convinced that there has to be a deeper connection to five. I will continue to investigate. And then he has these symbols here that I should probably copy down because I'm not sure what those mean. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We got six symbols. So we have a vertical eye and a line. We have a closed eye. We have a, did I say vertical? It's a horizontal eye. A horizontal eye with a dot, and then just the dot, and then we have the vertical eye with the dot, and then a closed vertical eye. Right? Eye, closed eye, dot, just the dot, vertical eye, closed vertical eye. Oh, okay. That looks like a code of some kind. I think it has something to do with opening the domes. I don't remember. I finally made a breakthrough. I have succeeded in modifying the fire marbles to generate enough power to hold a descriptive linking book in a stable matrix. Oh, excuse me. I have linked to a new world. It is a harsh and desolate age, but it is nonetheless well suited to my purposes, and so I have designated it... Uh whatever that number is in Dunny. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just the, he just numbered the next age that he linked to, so, because we've established that Gen doesn't name ages, he just numbers them. By studying it, I, by studying it closely, I believe I will eventually be able to create a more appropriate age for us to resettle on. For now, I will build an office and set up my living quarters there in order that I may conduct my experiments in safety and without distraction. So yeah, that's one of the other worlds that we're going to be visiting at some point in this game is Gen's world, I think. I remember reading that it's like 233rd or something. If that, that's what that number is. Um, let me see if I can actually figure that out based on what I have here. It's 9. It looks like a 9 and uh Nine and eight? Would it be ninety-eight? That's not right. I'm I'm not reading that correctly. Uh, I must admit I am proud of my work to think that such primitive conditions I have accomplished in twenty-nine years what it took the original Dunny centuries to achieve. Repair outerwear for work on this world. The goggles may need to be redesigned altogether. I have begun construction of a series of link sites for each island that will connect Riven with my new office on this new age. The Survey Guild has finally completed the site location for each island. According to my exact specifications, an installation of the domes is underway at last. So he put books that link to his world, his new world, in the domes. Work on the central power source got off to a bit of a bad start, I'm afraid, but the pace has picked up considerably since then and I anticipate no further delays. I'm looking forward to finally having a civilized mode of transportation. So I think the dome was meant to... Oh no, he's talking... I think he's talking about the, the tram, the one that we first rode along from the first island to the second one. And the dome is supposed to be a power source. Ah, uh, 
here we go. That looks promising. That, those are, that's definitely the code for the domes. Due to the rebels' continued disturbances, I've decided to install a coded access system into all of the domes. So that's... One, five... Not nine... What is that? These are numbers that I haven't seen. And that's a problem. I think if ten overlaps with something, it's... Uh, that. That looks like 10 and 4, so that might be 14. I'm going to copy these numbers down. That's definitely 1 and 5. And then I think this is 14, because it's a 10 and a 4 overlapping. Oh god, my... I have to reach to my desk from around my microphone here, so it's kind of awkward. So that's one, five, and then box with a little bit there, possibly 14, question mark? And I don't know what this one is. It might be a 1 combined with something else. And then I have no earthly clue what this one's supposed to be. It's like almost a diamond. Uh, but it doesn't look like any... Oh, it might be 3 and... Well, it's not... I'm looking at the ones I have that go with... There's nothing that's like a downward arrow, but it could be... Jeez. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. I'm... Uh, I caught one of the assistants looking over this journal today. I'm glad I've chosen to write it in a language they cannot decipher. Note, discuss security with each guildmaster. No problems expected from the maintainers, educators, and surveyors. Question the bookmakers and builders more closely. Ah, oh, there's so much reading. Today I heard several more reports of spirit sightings by some of the villagers. It seems that under Catherine's leadership, the rebels, or the Black... The Black Mo Moiety? As the villagers ob obstinately insist on referring to them, have attained a new level of sophistication in their terror tactics, and have renewed their campaign to intimidate the villagers into joining them, playing on their shared superstitions. The villagers are certainly susceptible to this form of coercion, especially given of late the rebels' increasing acts of vandalism and theft. So yeah, there's a bit of a rebellion going on against Gan. There's people, some of Catherine's people are straight up uh, resisting and rebelling, and the the person we saw at the beginning with the goggles and the dart gun who took out the other villager, I believe he was one of the uh, one of the rebels that Gen's talking about. So I'm pretty sure they have the trap book that that was uh, stolen from us. So we're gonna have to go meet with them at some point to get that book back, and I'm sure they'll be happy to help us get rid of Gen if we can explain that that's what it's for. Uh, da -da 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 -da, vandalism and theft. The Y tram traps? It tram? I can't quite read that. Traps have been steadily fruitful this year. Apparently, the breakup of the islands has not adversely affected the subterranean ecosystems. Unfortunately, I imagine the rebels are experiencing a similarly gorgeous, generous harvest. No shortage of poison for their darts this season. Maybe that's the frogs he's talking about. That's what they call them. Such morbid issues aside, the sudden availability has allowed me to refine a particularly pleasant extract from my pipe. Oh, he's not using them to make ink. He's making stuff to smoke. Come on, dude. One that is smoother than any of the others from recent years. Chemical analysis of one of the rebel knives has yielded curious results. Its composition contains elements that are unlike anything I've encountered on the islands. 
It appears they have access to a resource of which I am unaware. Perhaps a mine or an uncharted island. Most of the knives have been found on the south side of the village. This is the same area in which there have been reports of people mysteriously disappearing. I think a closer inspection of the area is warranted. The fact that they have these distinctive knives as a symbol of their presence concerns me. They are growing more bold, and it seems to no longer and seem to no longer fear discovery of their hideout. Uh, yeah, more numbers that I don't recognize. Wait, is that just two nines? Maybe that's ninety ninth age. Maybe that is nine. Nine and three. Maybe that's ninety third age. I'm not sure how uh, bigger numbers work. I only know my 1 through 10s in Dunny. The latest measurements indicate that the recent trend has continued. My movement of The movement of the islands has slowed tremendously. My previous estimates predicted a total collapse in approximately three months, but with the new figures, I'm uncertain. I've nearly finished writing the 99th age, and I have every faith that it will indeed be a safe place to, for us to relocate. It would be helpful to know what has caused the halt in this age's breakup. Is it possible that it's stable after all? If so, I must discover how this age differs from my less successful attempts. My examinations of the 93rd age have thus far proved inconclusive. So he doesn't know that Atris is writing corrections to the ribbon book and fixing everything and stopping it from breaking up so fast. Or well, perhaps someone is repairing the damage to the fifth age. If so, it would be certainly Atris is doing. Oh, so he's he's guessing that maybe Atris is doing what he's doing. I have reluctantly decided to abandon my experiments into the behavior of the water of this age, as there are more pressing matters on which... I must now concentrate, leaving me little time for such speculative research. For future references, however, my investigations up to this point have been the following. I believe the remarkable properties of the water to be caused by a life form that resides in it, specifically a type of bacteria. I am imagining a motile unicellular organism. Motile? Motile? I don't know. I've never heard it pronounced out loud but one with structures capable of holding bits of water where combined effect via surface tension, a stronger force, causes the composite body of water to move in response to heat. Prolonged exposure to extreme heat, for example a period of extended boiling, seems to kill the bacteria, which would explain its dramatic aversion to heat sources. Unfortunately, these theories are still not fully tested, and I remain ignorant of both its deeper nature and its possible uses. So that's how those... Uh, water moving field things work. They're just heat, and there's something in the water that doesn't like heat. Uh, an exciting development. Last night, a squad, of maintain main a squad of maintainers stumbled upon a lone rebel scout and obtained from him a most incredible device. It is a crystal that somehow powers these flawed linking books, much as my own system does, but with an obvious advantage. It is small and weighs only a few pounds, making it completely portable. Catherine must have fabricated the device before I captured her. Obviously, with an explicit dunny schematic, she must have brought with her to this age. If only I'd had access to such a document all these years. Regardless, I can now concentrate safely on the writing of ages and no longer about building elaborate power supplies for each new book I write. This is a sobering reminder, however, that I must continue to seek an avenue to dunny Regaining access to the resources there may be crucial to the completion of my mission. And that's it. So he is basically saying that the the rebels have some kind of like device that lets them use books that were too unstable to use before. Which is basically what Gen has been trying to do all along with all of his machinery here. And... Yeah. So we learned a lot of useful information from that journal... And I think next time I'm going to go through some of these other doors and explore and see what more there is to see around here.